two behind you? What? No. I'm 42. So rude. What? How dare you? Yo, I'm, but I'm in front of you. Yo. Oh, I'm excited. Oh, oh me I'm too. It begins. Then I will test both of your uh, sounds and then the server will be so. I have to um, do some settings before we, we yeah, yeah. Uh, completely start. So I want to hide the names and everything. Cutscene. It's still loading for me. Oh, okay. Yeah, no cutscene. That's already now? No spoilers. <laughs> <laughs> I can test it if you both of no. you both of you are quiet. Oh, okay. Yeah we we we're talking anyways soon. Yeah, I will do after. I'm a little bit behind anyways. Um, should I just go through everything or what? Is everyone in the chat bubble? Yeah, I yeah. clicked one time. Okay. It's, a, uh... it's you right, Les? <laughs> or Laddie? Wait, why? <laughs> oh, I have to click into the... <laughs> <laughs> You were moaning in your sleep and sweating buckets beside. Rolling off the ship got your stomach churning, has it? <laughs> Don't seem like seasickness, now that I look at you. I'll be the ether then, I will reckon. Oh, it'll be the ether. Some are more sensitive to the stuff than others. See, and we ain't too far from Vilbrand now, which is chock full of etherites. No need to fret though, you'll soon get used to it. Ugh, might as well have been blooming seasickness. Ships leaping around like a demented chocobo today. I reckon I might head out on deck, get myself a breath of fresh air. Limsa Lominsa, still a fair way off, in case you were wondering. Seeing as you're awake and all, how's about you keep me company till we get there? Them young'uns don't much care for conversation, see? Any road, Brennan's the name, and Padlin's mid-trade. Let's see. 
Beautiful ship. No. Yeah. Beautiful vista. <laughs> Fog. <laughs> I can barely look over the um, waves. <laughs> it's too small. No. Ah, smell the salty sea breeze. <laughs> now then, <sighs> lad, judging by your unusual garments, I'd say you were on the on them new adventurers, am I warm? I knew it. Going wherever the wind blows, seeking fortune and glory. Now that's what I call living. <laughs> so long as you can avoid dying, I mean. Ain't no secret that adventuring's a risky business, these days especially. What was it that first attracted you to it? Oh yeah, <laughs> to gain power. <laughs> uh, um, I'm going to be silent. <laughs> yeah. Already made that one. Well, if you ain't inclined to tell, I ain't about to pry. Might be as old Brennan's a chatterbox, but sure as hell ain't no busybody. We all have secret uh, or three, don't we? Me? Dozens. And I'd rather stay secret too. Which is why I don't go sticking me nose where, where it ain't welcome. Just remember though, there are more important things than fortune and glory, such as breathing. Ain't no profit in being dead, that's a fact. Perfect. I have the feeling I'm getting run over really soon. Pirates! <laughs> Ships of the starboard bow, pirate colors. No. Pirates, bloody hells. Have you no sense? Get below. But we are adventurers. <laughs> Don't we have to save the world now? Oh, uh, ship. No, we're just level one adventurers. <laughs> oh. What's the world coming to? Pirates firing on the ship, flying Lominsian colors. Bastards either have a battle, what, boatload of balls or bugger all for brains. <laughs> you can rest easy, friends. We've made it out cannon range. And no buccaneer's barks catch this flighty temptress once the wind's in her sails. That was too bleeding close. Glad one of us kept his head on his shoulders. I'd reckon I'd lost mine otherwise. If them pirates gave up the chase, we must be close to port. Let's head up on deck and have us a look, shall we? By the by, is this your first trip to Limsa Lominsa? Um, for me, no. <laughs> uh, yes, please. Thought not. Ah, but I'll wager there have been some changes since your last visit. Allow a journeyed itinerant to apprise you of the current state of affairs. <clears throat> Limsa Lominsa prides itself on being Eorzea's foremost naval power. Weren't too long ago that the place was ruled by pirates, but thanks to the current admiral's civilism influence, the city-state could almost pass for a respectable nation. You'd never guess she was once a rum swollen buccaneer herself. Course, most folk ain't so quick to change, and with town full of liberty-loving ruffians, you can imagine how many naysayers and troublemakers she's got to deal with. Like them pirates who took a fancy to us just now. And if that went bad enough, I've heard the Sahagins are raiding the coast as just as bold as you please. Them, the sea-dwelling beastmen the locals called fishbags. Cause, a uh, case you didn't know. Ah, at long last. Land ho!
Behold Limsa Lominsa, a nation blessed by the ocean's bounty and beloved of Limlian, goddess of navigation. Was that a, a bot? Already? Yeah. Oh, okay. It's the same. Thanks. What realm shaking fate has she descried in the churning waters of this mortal's future? So do you have the chat bubble? Yes, Me too. it just appeared. Oh. And here's where we part ways. You forgot the last. Yeah, by me, uh, in my chat he says son, so I did just leave it out. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I'm off to the markets to deliver me wares, then it's on to the high road for me. Here, I want you to have this, by the way of thanks for saving me hours earlier. You never Beautiful did tell name. me your name, did you? Well, here's an idea. Become the sort of story personage I can brag about having met and I'll consider a square. <laughs> I'll show you. And hardship, discovery no. and triumph. May the navigator guide this brave soul on his life's voyage. Still see swallows all. Remember the twins, by the way. Which twins? Uh, oh, we the, saw the, 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 both. the one that's sitting there silently. Okay. Mm -hmm. I completely forgot about him already. Yeah, that's why I'm <laughs> telling you the twins, the elf twins. Okay, fair enough. God, the city is so empty without players. Yeah. <laughs> it's actually better without players. <laughs> hey, you there. I, I mean you. This is my district and I make it my business to know all the scum that washes up in it. Oh, rude. Ah, an adventurer. Fresh off the boat, is it? Well then, allow one of Limsalominsen's finest to set you on the right path. Hop to it, lad. I haven't got all day. So, everyone ready? Everyone did yeah, their things? I'm in front of the dude. Okay. You mean of wrist flow? <laughs> yes. Yep. Okay. Uh, to be recognized as an adventurer in the city-state of Limsa Luminsa, you must first register yourself with the Adventurer Guild. Accept. Okay. 
Now then, I'm sure you're itching to explore, but adventurers are required to register their presence in the city. And without a bit of local knowledge, you're like to get your throat slit in some piss-stinking alley. So before you do anything else, get yourself over to the Drowning Wench and enroll with the Adventurer Guild. It's not far, just head straight down the street and speak with Grefar. Uh, I don't know, I just made something up for the name. He'll show you how to work that big moving platform we call the Crown's Lift and uh, Crow's Lift and that'll take you up to the pub. Once you're there, look for a fellow by the name of Baradaron. Uh, Baderon, he's the proprietary of the wench. He might curse like an ale sudden sailor, but the man's got a soft spot for the wide-eyed newcomers like yourself. He'll set you straight. Got all that? Good. Now run along and may the navigator guide you on your journey. Okay. So go. You have begun a quest! <laughs> So I'm going to Grefar. Wait, uh... Oh, okay, never mind. Wait, what way? Okay, I'm there. Welcome to Limsa Lominsa. If you've mind to visit the Drowning Wench, the Crow's Lift will take you there. Yep. Yes! Thank you! I just disappeared. Yep. <laughs> Beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So... Yeah, yeah. Uh, Baderon. Wait, where's Baderon? Oh, there uh, just in front of you. Oh, a well, little bit to the right. Hi. Greetings to ya. Wait, wait, wait. I'm not, not there oh. yet. Okay. I'm looking, uh, I'm walking slower than you. Yet, yeah, now, yet. Yeah. Okay. What'll it be? Ain't. <laughs> But you ain't air for the drink, Arya. Oh god, I shouldn't do that. You've come with a mind to try your and adventuring, I reckon. Well, you find no shortage of work here in Limsa. God, every sh Scottish person will hang me for this. The name's Baderon, and this most hospitable of osteries is the Drowning Wench. This is also the home of the Venturer's Guild here in Limsa. That's why we've got a desk specially for handling guild business and why I seem to spend more time saving the necks of whelps like yourself than wetting the throats of my regulars. Ventures have a knack for finding trouble, see? Not that they need it in these parts on account on there being trouble wherever you look. If they manage to steer clear on the fish bags and the kobolds outside the city, the pirates on the inside will get ya instead. And if they don't manage, there's always the Galleon Empire to finish the job. Oh, I'm not doing it anymore. Oh, no one knows what they're planning. Of course, but if they're planning anything, you can be sure it's to kill a lot of us. Oh no, I'm kind of falling into it again. <laughs> <laughs> I this town seems peaceful at a glance, but look again and you'll see a people living in fear of what tomorrow might bring. <laughs> and who can blame him after everything that's happened? Eorzea took a mighty blow during the calamity, but our homes weren't the only things what got wiped off the face of existence by that thrice damned bastard of a dragon. It took our bleeding memories too. And no one's been able to explain it in a way as makes an onsen sense. <laughs> None of the folks what saw it and lived to tell the tale seem to agree on how the tale actually goes. It is all foggy, like recollections from an art night on the ale. You can imagine why people might fear for the future if they can't recall, uh, rightly recall the past. But there is one thing we all remember, and there's the group of venturers what laid down their lives to drag Eorzea back from the brink when she was bound for the abyss. Well, I say we remember. Truth is, though we ain't forgotten what they did for us, the goddamn calamity spawned memory loss robbed us all their names. It won't even let us picture their damn faces. 
Tis like staring at the gulf flying in front of the sun. All you see in their mind's eyes is shadow set against a blinding glare. And that's all every bugger describes it, by the way. Give or take the odd gull. It's this what got people calling the heroes the warriors of light. If Limsa is ever going to put this name of darkness behind it, it's going to need Venturas to help banish the fear. It's going to need new heroes like the ones we lost. Maybe one day you'll be one of them. And that's why we, uh, any aid we can give to a Venturer is effort well spent. What do you say, lad? You're willing to lend us your strength? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Me thanks yes. to you and to navigators and all. I knew she'd steer you me way for a reason. Ah, but listen to me, yettering on like a sun-touched fishwife. This high time we got your mark on me book. Put your scroll right there. Name, is it? A fine name it is. <laughs> Congratulations, you're now an upstanding member of the Venturer's Guild. You there, adventurer. You sailed on one the last ferry, did you not? The captain reported being attacked by a pirate vessel and several witnesses have testified independently that the passenger matching your description went on deck mere moments before the incident took place. Sending your friends signals, where are you? What accusation? The what? What, what for an accusation? Yeah, right? bastard. Yes. <laughs> now, hold on just a moment there, officer. You've got the wrong bloke. This fine, upstanding young gent is my dear departed grandma's sister's niece, cousin's closest <laughs> companion. <laughs> The lad wouldn't have been caught dead fraternizing with such unsavory elements. <laughs> Is that right? Um, you are surely aware of the recent kidnappings. Respectfully, then we cannot be too trusting of outsiders at a time when the loyalty of even our closest friends is in doubt. <laughs> Aye, you're making a good point there, officer. A very good point. Very wise. You needn't worry, though. I keep one eye open at all times, me and two more often than not. Now, sir, what do you say to a tanker of my finest ale before I return to your duties, eh? Not a watered-down cup of piss like last time, I should hope. Ain't got the faintest idea what you're on about, officer. The wench might offer some of the cheapest grog this side of the Strait or Malthor, but that don't mean it won't get you good and pickled. And look, there's a chair over there, just crying out to be sat on. So kick off them heavy boots, eh? You'll have to excuse these bloody eager yellow jackets. There's been a spade of kidnapping, see? Ain't that got a... a oh, damn it. They ain't got a clue who's behind them. Naturally, they've taken to clapping irons on anyone who looks vaguely suspicious. Which means venturers, visitors, and pretty much every bugger else in this town. I'm such a small little girl. How could yeah. they ever be suspicious <laughs> about me? Because you're an adventurer. <laughs> Don't take it personal though. Us Lominsons can be a strong bunch of bastards. Tis true, but given time, we'll grow on ya. Now, where was I? I already forgot what he made up that we're related to him. <laughs> oh, I... <laughs> Welcome to Limsa Lominsa, where the sea is as green as the face of me patrons after a few too many black belly whiskies. <laughs> now take a moment to gather your wits and we'll get started with learning your, the ways of the city. The person who wrote the lines for this character had so much fun. <laughs> mm. Wait, wait. The client, the, the rewards, right? Yeah, yeah, always. We never get rewarded for anything. So. So, okay, you're still not here. So, uh, the side quest behind us on the table, again, we're just gonna ignore this. We're just gonna focus on the main story quest.
So again, Baderon. A proprietor of oh, the I... drowning wench. Huh? Yep. Yeah. No, go, go, go. A proprietor go. of the drowning wench wants you to perform three tasks that will help you learn the fundamentals of adventuring, like gathering up his sheep that run amok. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> mm. Oh. Right then, let's start off your nice and easy with three tasks that will help you get used uh, to life here in Limsa. Firstly, if you add down a floor, then point your nose to the west, you'll get an eye on the great glowing crystal in the middle of the courtyard. That's an etherite, a device what can move you from one place to another in the blink of an eye. Ain't no swifter way to travel, providing there's an etherite where you want to go, of course. Have a chat with the yellow jacket on guard down there. You'll be treated to a lecture on the workings on the device. Uh, for you to do that though, remember to touch the thing. Strange as it sounds, it won't work till you have. Second on the list is the marketplace. You'll find weapons and armor, all the venturing bits and pieces for sale in the district what lies beyond the etherite. Don't go throwing your gill around just yet though, or you'll get fleeced quicker than you can say, why is my coin purse so light? Have a word with the swas blade instead? He's the head of the Merchants League by the way. Give him this old octant and a treat ya well. For the last only plentiful ins, I suggest you meet some fellow axe wielders at the Marauders Guild. Oh yeah, uh, for you it's something else. Uh, I guarantee you'll learn a few neat new tricks for swinging that ad splitter or yours if you join the crew the thotha at the front desk is the one to get you started got all that lad seeing to them three tasks it'll take you on the jaunt round the city and work out uh, work out where everything is now if best getting on run along eh bugger it there i go sending off you without telling this summit crucial the bloody calamities made a right mess of my memory, I swear. Well, that or the ale. Any road, while you're out, if you happen to pass any poor sorts that look like they might need your help, consider giving their tale or woe a listen, eh? Sounds like a chore, I admit, but you never know what interesting opportunities could be lurking out there, just waiting for you to stumble on them. For example, Nininia over there, yonder's been casting glances at you since you waltzed in. Why not lend an ear and see what she has to say? I I like to find yourself running odd errands in the beginning, but once you build a reputation as a man folk can trust, the jobs get harder and the rewards more generous. If you have the time, I'd also seek the advice of the smith where in the bench. The lads are spare the title of some fine advice for them. Oh, we're just starting out in the profession. And that, my lad, is oh, go become a legend among venturers. Ah, oh, I need a drink. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and get used to the nodding, by the way. We will nod a lot. To leave the yeah, drowning yeah, wench, uh, you must accept the quest making a name to speak uh, with Ninia. Okay. I guys, you just skip everything to wait. We need to have to talk to Linnea now. Yep. Okay, we have to do the side quest. Okay, I accepted it. Yep. Well, would you look at this? A shiny new adventurer. Listen close, lad. I've some information that might just help put you on the map here in Limsa. I was passing through Bulwark Hall below not long ago and saw a bunch of herbs just scattered about on the ground. Now I'm not entirely certain, but I think they might have been on the black market where it's known as dream flowers. Limsa Lominsa is a busy port and not all the merchants that blow in across the strait are above board, if you know what I mean. How the plants end up in Nissen Mast, who knows, might have been a deal gone bad. The important thing is, you make a name for yourself by handing them in. Speak to Skenrail and she'll uh, get you down the first floor, then all you have to do is pick up the herbs and take them to Adelskif on the Octant. Being a worldly captain, he knows a thing or two about such shady goods. So, okay. Have you seen okay. Skenrael, the lift attendant? No. 
Um, I see. I... In the south. Wait, wait. So now touch the big stone. Yeah, the big stone? Yep. <laughs> I don't see it. Oh, okay. I have... should not press anything while doing it. Yep. Are you going to read it? Okay, uh, I just waited for you. Uh, another noise, a uh, novice adventurer. I, Baderon, has sent uh, more than a few he is of still your doing kind. The, the I have. I accidentally <laughs> fell into it. Okay. I'm Sumdimal, one of the Yellow Jackets tasked with keeping the peace in the city. It is also my charge to provide guidance in the use of this device. Fear not, I shall be brief. Etherites are crystalline structures that tap into ethereal energies. They are primarily used as a means to travel swiftly from one place to another. Return and teleport. The most common transportation spells make direct use of the etherites and their connection to the flow of ether. And as these devices are found in almost every corner of Eorzea, any adventurer worthy of the name will wish to seek out and attune himself to each one. Once you have expanded your horizon beyond the walls of the city, you will soon find yourself performing the act of attunement as a matter of course. There is however no need for unseemly haste. The etherites found in and around the city will be sufficient for the present, I assure you. Should you wish to learn more about etherites or transportation magic, I will be here to answer your questions. Go. We can return. I can touch the etherite, but I wasn't able to touch the um, quest items. That's weird. Weird. Maybe the quest is fucked. Yeah, maybe. Uh, Are some we herbs. To food? Yep. Okay. To wish to examine. Yep. Here, take this. Take the drugs. Yes, as you suspected, these are highly illegal blooms known as dream flowers. They are prime ingredient in the creation of Somnus, a substance whose fragrance is said to lull the sniffer's mind into the sleep of death. Forgive me, I could not resist the jest. These herbs are not more than Althic lavender, a common enough export from Limsa Lominsa. In fact, these probably spilled from crates that were loaded onto my very own ship. I think someone has been having a bit of fun with you, but not to worry, you've learned a few things and made a new acquaintance. Well met! <laughs> he lied to me. That yeah, passer. probably. Do we have to click on him again? Or uh, no, 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 no. Uh, that's just a side quest. Follow me okay. to the west. Good thing that you are very tall so that I can always yep. follow you. But I don't know why the pet names are still up here. We have to fix that later. Hmm. At least I have that so, the name is only the initials. Here is Swassblad. <laughs> Thank you. Talk to this dude. A fine evening to you. Welcome to the most replete marketplace in the grand realm of Eorzea, where every shelf groans under the weight of wonders born from all four corners of the world. Pray browse the stalls until your eyeballs ache from ogling the overabundance of unbelievable bargains. Now, as much as I would love to elaborate upon the unrivaled quality of our merchandise, I must tend to some cargo but recently arrived at the docks. Hmm, you bear a gift from Baderon, whatever it could. Ah, my octant. By the navigator. I must have left it behind in the wench, along with a week's pay and several belts worth of intoxicated memories. Yep, here, take it. Oh, when did we pick that up? Uh, Baderon gave it to us. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> I forgot about that. No, I'm most grateful to have it back. This tool is a keepsake from my days as a ship captain, you see. Needless to say, your good deed must be repaid and what better recompense than the wisdom of a master merchant. If it is simple and sturdy adventuring equipment you seek, you need look no further than the east and west arms of Hawker's Alley. Lest you doubt each guild you invest in arms and armor will be money well spent. Adventuring is after all a dangerous profession by its very nature. Connection with server was lost. <laughs> what? Yep, yeah, I was kicked. 
Oh, uh, it goes without saying that Harker's Ali both start specializing in the tools of every mar martial discipline imaginable. And within but a few steps are bazaars and apothecaries that will most employ supply all your potions and perishable needs. Our keen-eyed agents procure a frankly befuddling range of wares during their sojourns to distant shores, so it pays to become familiar with the type and price of the goods offered by each stall. Oh my god, my perfect German tone. Um, lobby server connection has encountered an error. I might have problems. No. Yep, game crashed. No. <laughs> oh no. Okay, just a second. I'm just gonna restart I'm... everything. Such knowledge will serve you well if your purse is light on your time is short. Ah, but verbal instruction of this kind will only profit you so much. Experience has ever been the serious teacher, if not the kindest. I invite you to explore the markets for yourself. Yeah. Shut up. <laughs> oh, he's back. Yep. I already completed the quest. Um, okay, you two have to go to your teachers now. Ah, there you are. Ain't your jaunt round the city, did ya? If you mean to base yourself in Limsa Lominsa, that won't be the last time you visit them three places. And now you've got some idea what's where, you can start exploring the rest of the town. We already kinda did. <laughs> no, you've shown what? Good ear for listening, lad. Stick with old Baderon and you'll go far. Okay, thanks. I don't listen at all, what do you mean? <laughs> yep. Listen? My attention span is like a goldfish. <laughs> hey, listen! <laughs> oh, there's another quest. This... No. Still in Nimza Aya. Oh, a fancy trip outside the city walls. I'd like you to visit an orchard by the name of Summerford Farms. A third or place. The owner, Stelwyrn, is an old mate of mine. He's gone by self a crew, mostly reformed pirate types, if you can believe that, and has been trying to bring a bit of life back to the fields after the calamity ruined the soil. He mentioned needing another Anne or two, and your name sprang to mind. I gave your old glowing recommendation, so make sure you work and are to impress the old bastard. You need directions, the place and art to find, just take the Zephyr Gate out of the city and follow the road near east. Uh, northeast. Hi, Stel Wiam. Ah, you must be the adventurer Baderon promised to send along. Azumgi Dreng Barazi, wasn't it? You honored no. his word, so that's a good start. I'm Stel Wiam, the old bastard, as Baderon likely described me, and this here is my humble orchard. A good number of the lads and lasses working here once terrorized the high seas, and if you're wondering why I employ these scrags, well, they used to crew my pirate ship. But the calamity did for our ship. Like it did so many others, and I was sore wounded into the bargain. I had to feed myself and crew somehow, and Admiral Malivip initiated to give us a uh, get us landlocked buccaneers working the fields seemed too fine an offer to refuse. Hi. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> well, it turns out you can take the pirate away from the sea, but you can't take the sea away from the pirate. A lot of my blokes just never took to tending the soil, you see. And unfortunately, the botanists I called in to train them have been wringing their hands in black despair. With so much work piling up, I need a tougher soul like you to step in and help where it's needed. Yep. Yeah. Uh, ah, damn it, I already have boots. Uh, I don't uh, have I don't boots. Care. I'm checking Maybe boots. Shoes. Better shoes. So. Oh, I cannot um, wear them. Why can I not wear them? Uh, it's, it's for fighting classes. classes. Oh, that's that's mean. Why, why can I choose yeah. stuff that is on my class? Uh, okay, never mind. Because you will also. Uh, we will also get stuff that I can't wear. 
okay. In the main scenario quest, everybody gets something. Okay. So, um, I have a mind to set you a task, uh, but before I do, I need to be sure you're properly kitted out. Pirates don't care to parley with dandies, you understand. It might well be that the ones here have traded in their cutlasses for colters, but they're still rogues at heart. I know a solid set of gear when I see it. Come back when you think you're more suitable equipped. Uh, equip head, body, hands, legs, feet with gear of item level 5 or greater. Okay, uh, we already should have it. Do you? Oh, now I can resurrect, by the way. I got the skill oh, now. nice. Me too. Because you two died earlier, right? Mm, no. So, no, let's never? have a look at you. No. As long as you're in this well covered, I won't feel any guilt throwing you to the sharks. As while buccaneers are an ornery lot, they rage in love for the sea and care little for the laws of the land. But they respect strength and by the looks of you, I'd say you have a little trouble getting their attention. Uh, no, don't need I'm it. I'm going to claim don't the money. It. Yeah, yeah I also, I also want the money. the money. I have a better, uh, whatever. So, I ah, accepted the next name. quest. Oh, it's going into the cutscene. Okay, you already clicked Just... way past beyond yeah, yeah. the text. Good I, to hear. Yeah, I, 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 I don't read. <laughs> Fuck reading. No. Well, I shall lay before you the sorry tale. You will have heard rumors of the abductions. Aye, citizens have been disappearing from every corner of Limsa, as if plucked from the face of Heidelin, boots and all, by an unseen hand. Heidelin, by the way, is the name of the planet. Oh, okay. Yep. And what's this got to do with Summerford Farms, you might ask? Well, that remains to be seen, but it seems a collection of right unsavory fellows with azure tattooed faces have been creeping up at the edges of the fields and spying on Mion. Now, I doubt anyone would enjoy being scrutinized by such savages as best of times, but the farmers are convinced that their kidnappers of rumor come for the heights. Needless to say, they're beside themselves with worry, their work suffering for it, which is the very last thing I need when my old crewmen are still, uh, still getting used to their new jobs. It is a struggle to get them leave the farmhouse of a morning. That is as to say, where you come in, would be willing to investigate those tattooed thugs for me. Yes. Good lads, the sooner we get to the bottom of this, the sooner this place will start to resemble a, fa a working farm again. I suggest you begin having a look around Seasong Grotto. If reports are to be believed, our unwelcome visitors have occupied the place. Be careful though, name, I could say for sure what manner of miscreants we're dealing with here. If they are kidnappers, you'll just be on your guard, all right? Yes. Oh, going to play this game now. Disband. Uh, so wait, I I did got torn out. Yeah, yeah, we have to do it uh, solo. What? I'm going to die because I'm standing still. Mm. I didn't get teleported. Ugh. Okay. Oh no, Gaia stood up. I am the waves that oh. bear. I am the winds that guide. Oh. I am the evening stars. I am the morning sky. Ominous. I am born of the sea, and there shall I die. Thus reads the sailor's requiem, carved into yonder stone. Such words well describe the manner in which the citizens of Limsa Lominsa live their lives. I love that she's just the cultured conjurer. It is both a litany against misfortune for those out on the waves. No name for her. And a prayer that the souls of those who perish on land might find their way back to the... Oh. Ah, you are the adventurer I've seen around Summerford Farms. I thought myself on the trail of the kidnappers, but it would seem I have missed my mark. Or perhaps not. As I suspected, the etheric disturbance here is no natural occurrence. Nor is it a coincidence that the two of us should come here in search of those responsible for the disappearances. 
I love how they're just attacked. standing just stand there, there completely yep. calm. But who stands to benefit from the keeping of this secret? Oh, such thoughts must wait. Let us attend to the task at hand, unpleasant though it be. I sense something arrive with this creature. Be on your guard. So difficult. Oh. What? I'm almost dying here. No. Nope. Well, the disruption of the ether draws others to the fray. I love how they changed the speed bubbles for the NPCs now. Because before it was basically not visible. Keep your focus on the battle, leave the tending of wounds to me. More unwelcome visitors, slay them quickly, please be overwhelmed. He doesn't hear me. No. He said that she tends to my wounds, why doesn't she hear me? Um, I don't know. It doesn't matter, I hear myself. No. Yeah. I'm a big girl. Duty complete, woo! I'm gonna wait for you f uh, with reading. Duty complete. Started a little bit later. Phew. Oh, voice acting. Forgot. Da -da -dum. Ooh, stone. Huh. Touch the stone. Touch the stone. Touch it. Always touch the stone. Lick it. <laughs> Eat it. Caress the stone. We are obsessed with... Oh! There is a reason why crystals. Yeah. Reminded me a little bit of Zelda getting all those medals. Mm. Is it the same? <laughs> mm, not quite. I get Crystal goosebumps. Bearer. I see stones. Lots of stones. I am Hydaelyn. All made one. A light there once was that shone throughout this realm. Yet it has since grown dim. And as it hath faltered, so hath darkness risen up in its stead, presaging an end to life. For the sake of all, I beseech thee, deliver us from this fate. The power to banish the darkness dwelleth in the crystals of light. Journey forth and lay claim to them. By thy deeds, 
shall the crystals reveal themselves to thee. Only believe, for the light liveth in thy heart. Oh, after the cutscene, I have to do the kitty litter. Gaia's on the toilet. Awake again? Are we? Have fun. Searching for treasures. Aha! The poor creature's fury is kindled with cruel forethought. I gained a ring on my ear. Why did I gain a ring? I don't know. See this blade? I found it in the Gubu's back. I have seen knives of this kind before. They are most commonly used for the cutting of rope. It would appear our culprits are seafaring men of some persuasion. Piratical being the most probable. In any event, you seem much recovered from your sudden affliction. I confess, I was rather taken aback when you collapsed at the very moment of our victory. Mayhap a surfeit of ether? I beg your pardon, a towering crystal. I'm sure I don't... Oh! Well, well, this has been a day of unexpected revelations. I must continue my investigation. In the meantime, I suggest you deliver this knife to your patron, along with a warning concerning the pirate's probable involvement in this murky business. The days ahead promise little rest, I fear. May our paths cross again, under the light of the crystal. Still, William. Uh, name. Right glad I'm to see you safely returned. My lads were all gabbing about hearing what sounded like all seven hells breaking loose near the grotto and I feared it sent you to your death. If you were in the middle of that commotion I hope it yielded something of interest. I hate to think you'd risk your life for naught. Look, here's the knife. Oh, wait. A blade pulled from the back of a creature you slew at the cave, huh? I'd agree such a knife would be part of a seafaring man's kit. I'm starting to think that these ruffians are pirates come to lure my farmhands back to the life of plunder. Chances are they didn't take kindly to your appearance on the doorstep and set a maddened gobu on you. Aye, the pirates have been adding their numbers of late. I'd best warn the lads and lasses on my employ to be on the guards against their schemes. You met someone else at the grotto, a woman with a strange contraption. Ah, Ishtola. She's been in Limsa Lominsa for a good while now. Her studies of the ether often bring her out to summer fort, so her presence at the grotto is hardly unusual. She's an odd looking lass, I grant you, but she's not the kind of to associate with kidnappers. You may take my word for that. Where trust should be lacking is in those yeomen of mine who have yet wholly relinquished the pirate past. The temptation to return to the free and easy life of buccaneer may prove too strong to resist. You may have my thanks uh, name. If it weren't for the efforts of stalwart adventurers like yourself, this farm would be in a far worse state than it is. Just you keep on lending your talents to those in need, eh? Help bring Limsa to a brighter future she deserves. Nice. What is this? Eye drops. Don't need. You, you choose the potions. No. Okay, quest complete. So, Stellworm. 
The Seath lost Severin and his lot never around when there's work to be done. I'd sooner hire you for sake of getting things done, but then the Repscallion would never learn. Round them up and let them know that Stelwyrm would like a word and don't take no for an answer. Uh, you continue to impress, lad. All but Severin are accounted for. It's not your fault for he's grummed out. I've let the worm wriggle through my fingers more times than I count. But rest assured, the next time I see him, I'll put him squarely in the dirt where all such worm belong. Yippee! You can lose a dreaming now. Uh, uh what? I wonder if I had any abilities I just got. Oh, okay. Lose a dreaming. Uh, pains me to say, but all the gill in the world can't buy loyalty. There are some like you who can be trusted, but then there are others. Until now, I've had no choice but to rely on the charlatan Severin, even though I'm fully aware he's been doing shady deals behind my back. More than once, I've heard tell of improper trading with goblins. I wouldn't be the last, uh, least surprised if that were happening right now. Not a bell ago. Uh, not a bell ago? I don't know what that means. A sack of oranges vanished, as did Severin. I want you to find and confront the bastard for me. I'm sure there's wrongdoing afoot, so be sure to doubt anything that comes out of his mouth. Okay. Hi, you bastard. Bloody hells, I'm up the straight without a paddle. So, uh, you have to emote doubt. So, what's this now? Stellworm sent you for the oranges? Huh, so the old bugger had known this all the time. Ah, what does it matter anyway? Listen, you're the one this goody good adventurer's types, right? Go rescue me mates for those double dealing goblins, they're just over yonder by the bonfire. Yep. It looks ominous. A little bit. Mess him up! No, just ate them and then... And of course it needs us to arrive before people can get saved, otherwise they're completely course. helpless. The usual. Mm -hmm. yeah. I mean, I, I, wait, I, I, what? Huh? what? I'm not that quick. Oh. You shouldn't be that small, man. So you saved me, mates, and for that I owe you. Suppose I should be ashamed I couldn't clean up my own mess. But a pirate knows no shame. I have no qualms about going back on my word. I'm only giving you this sack because I felt a cut of your jib. Take it to Ozen and send him my regards. Sack of oranges. Hi, all seen. What have we here? A delivery from Summerford Farms and a scheduled. Ha! There's a first time for everything. Well, look at that. Not a single one missing either. About the only things not here are those bagmen, and I don't miss them one bit. Here's Stellworm payment in full. With you, I can trust it'll reach them. Yep. Hi, Stellworm. Back in one piece, that's a relief. How did it fare? Here's your money. This is what I was aiming for. Looks to be all I was owed, alright. Though I'd been telling you false if I claimed I had not held out more hope for Severin. I was even willing to overlook the skimming of top, but to sell us all short in favor of those godforsaken goblins. You'd do well to mind yourself around that two guild cheat. If it leave his own mates for that, there's no telling what he'd do to you. Ooh. Um... No, we are from Star Wars. Yay! We even have the green hands on Yoda. No. We're cosplaying. Ooh. I'm better cosplayer because I'm small. <laughs> You're Yoda. No. Uh, the crops will never be ready for the harvest. If only at a black loom, just a bit could send our stalks soaring. Uh, I'll bet Roth Vida knows where you might find some. Perhaps you might pay her a visit in the orchard. Yep. We can do that. Let's go to Rothvida. Ah. Oh, there is a gate. 
like just wondering no. why you're doing this. Uh, the Gokan's got a head of cabbage if he thinks I'm fetching him any black loam. But if you dare to pinch some from the cook pot, then be my guest. Just mind you don't get trampled upon the aurochs that dwell there. Once you've three bushels worth, uh, take the black loam to Preval at Tiller's rest. You'll know what to do. Okay. Oh, I tried to fake. Nice. Yep, level sync. Let's do it. Kill him. No, I'm going to watch you. But I can't attack it. Well, yeah, you have to see. level sync. What? Oh, Gaia is yelling for me. Uh, crying in the background. Yo, back. Yo, no, no, after the quest. She either wants to be put in a blankie or she wants something to eat. I hope it's the blankie because that's way faster. There he is, beside Vidaloof. <laughs> Vidaloof. Even the weeds wither and die in this desolate dirt. Uh, but a bit of this black loam ought to change all that. I haven't seen any in ages. Gathering black loams not for the weak of will, nor the weak of stomach. Oh, don't tell me Gorkand and Uroth Vida neglected to mention where black loam comes from. Well, surely you figured it out on your own from the cloying stench. It comes from the Oryx lair of all places. Um, well, why dwell on who misled whom about what? What matters is that your efforts have brought us black loam, and we can expect a bountiful harvest as a result. Thank you. Ooh, nice. Wristband! So, confounded pirates, they know nothing of tilling, only killing. <laughs> Stealing our shovels to melt and forge into axes of all things. They're biting the hand that feeds them, that mangy mongrels. I'd love to teach those curse a lesson in obedience myself if I hadn't sworn to Stellworm that I wouldn't fight no more. So I need to bring back our farm tools and make sure those dogs reap what they've sown. I wonder what those sea dogs will try in stealing when there's no harvest. Everything Good to see is. those tools back and in serviceable condition, which will be more than we can save of Severin when we get our hands on him. The wretch likely had a role in the theft. Spite him meeting the pirates and secrets I did. I couldn't care less if the Westrel won't work, but when he concerts with cut purses, then take our tools away, cross the line. Stellwim ought to know what sort of scalawag he's dealing with. Take word to him, would you? Yep, let's go to Scallywag. I already forgot his name, even though I read it. <laughs> Pirates making off with our tools. Freval did well not to take matters into his own hand. Last thing I need is blood on my crops. But I'll be damned if Severin thinks he can take us for fools. His treachery won't go unpunished. I come yeah, to expect a great deal from you, lad. And you've never once let me down. Uh, yet what I ask of you now goes beyond odd. I've asked, will, would you hear a plea all the same? It eases my mind to have your ear. You're no doubt familiar with that scoundrel Severin by now. Well, the scheming scapegrace is at it again. Since the letter came for him, he'd been skulking about in the manner he does when he's up to no good. Now he's rounded up his rogues and buggered off with nary a word to anyone. I've grown accustomed to his insolence, but something tells me that this time is different. It ain't exactly damning, but when I last had words, with him, he didn't look defined so much as haunted. I can't help thinking he's gone looking for trouble and found more than he wanted. So I was hoping you might hunt his sorry hide down and drag it back here before it's too late. The ungrateful little cur bites me every chance he gets, but I can't quite bring myself to cut him loose. I suppose he reminds me a bit of my younger self. Suffice it to say, I'd rather he didn't come back to Sticky End as for how to find him and try asking Grin Vida at the Etherite she was the last one to see him. I dare say she'll be able to tell you where he was headed. Here's Grin Vida. Nothing that passes through those gates escapes my notice. I saw the Rouser and his rebels set out for Woad Whisper Canyon not long ago, singing about drinking themselves stupider. Cheeky thoughts said I should join them. I told them I'd rather shrivel up than sip whatever it was that pickled their brains. If you find the idle swine, be sure and give them a cuff round the ear from me, will ya? 
if you had only oh. little. No. Of Wait, all the I, dirty, the deceitful, fuck? downright, dastardly deeds that slippery bastards done. <laughs> Claiming to take the lads out for a drink only to lead us straight into a bloody trap. I don't get any lower than that. Cause I've learned to st stay a step ahead of old Severin, so I was ready. But the others weren't so lucky, you've got to help them. Do we now? Do oh, we have to help them? Oh uh, no. Oh, Why are uh, only we helping people and the rest is like dying? Because we are the warriors of light. Why can't I give quests to people to help? Uh, I want to be an NPC. <laughs> yeah, I want to stand still. <laughs> I want to have an exclamation mark upon my head. Yeah. Are we going to uh, the NPC guy now? <laughs> no. The NPC class. Oh, we have to disband the group again. Why? Why not? Oh, yeah. Yep. Okay. Oh. Severin might have got us into this mess, but I ain't not give him his life for us. I'd sooner bow uh, to a fish bag than be in the confining bastard step to arms. Yep, let's go. <laughs> I butchered that sentence. <laughs> Don't worry. What's happening? Oh. Wait, what? A true knave. You betray even yourself, Severin. Ugh. We were prepared to overlook the matter of your desertion on the condition that you provide us with suitable replacements that was the agreement. Yet your latest change of heart leaves your debt to us unpaid. Few are they who betray the Serpent Reavers twice. You will not do so a third time. Well, this time they stopped the lip syncing. No. Cowering behind your protector will only delay the inevitable. Honorless wretch, your life is all that you have left. And worthless though it be, we shall take it. Oh. Who's that guy? Ah, remember him. O mournful voice of creation, grant he me this appear? humble stone a soul that may wake to life. Oh no. Can we touch the stone? Can you lick the stone? <laughs> Can you eat it? Oh. I want to touch the stone. I want to stick my hand in it. Oh my god! <laughs> I want okay. to kill it! I want to have it inside me. Oh <laughs> it's getting weird! You Stone. started it! <laughs> no, I, I didn't take it too far. You, you yeah. didn't take it too far. You are strong, but are you strong enough? Dude, I almost already killed your golem. What do you mean? Never no, has no, the golem been solely about? tested. The golem is dead. <laughs> it's dead. Did you do the stone? That the golem could be vanquished. That man is no ordinary adventurer. What? I'm a woman. What? No. You're also no ordinary adventurer. <laughs> I'm a short woman. Come and say it to my face. No. The snake slithered away. I'm only glad he did not have the chance to sink his fangs more deeply into you. Why is it always me that doing all the heavy lifting? And... Oh, that they will are change. like basically doing nothing. No, no, that will change. Let's, ju uh, let's just enjoy Ishtola. Oh, we're seeing uh, something again. Those pirates do not belong to any of those Lominsen factions. Whom do they serve? The beast tribes? Surely not. But the timing of their appearance coincides all too neatly with the recent search in Saragin and Cobalt activity. Something is afoot. The question is what?
Could it be that the tribes are planning to summon their primals? Hmm. 12 help us if it should prove so. Limsa would be hard pressed to keep a single primal at bay, let alone two. But all is yet speculation. I must needs find evidence. The sea continued to rise. While the lesser moon continues to fall. And ilm by ilm, the world becomes ever more unlike itself. Is it as Louis Soir foretold? Uh, Louis Soir is the guy uh, that teleported us in the trailer. The mm. old man with the stick. Yeah. The coming of chaos has rendered the laws of nature mutable, blurring the boundary between the material and ethereal planes. Little now stands between us and the primals. But they are not here yet. Though time be against us, hope shall ever be on our side. Never did the creed of the Charlian ring more true. That's a memory yep. you're seeing right now. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Never did I dream that I would possess the means to see ether. Yet now that I do, I do begin to take it for granted. How swiftly do the wonders of Charlian seems commonplace. Um, is this an Aerith reference? <laughs> because Flower Girl. Here for you. Have you come for the festivities? Today the Maelstrom official makes the great hole in the sea its training ground. Join the celebrations. Now we're getting killed by the flower? <laughs> no. Never trust the flower girl. Wait, disturbance in the etheric flow? But whence does it emanate? Season grotto perhaps? A uh, sea song grotto. Season grotto? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm kinda hungry. I gave all three babies something to eat and I forgot myself. The biggest baby. Yeah. <laughs> How do you know? <laughs> what? I see you. It's man. <laughs> no. What have we here? Can you walk? Pick up your phone. Tis I, regrettably no. He eluded me. Understood. I will inform the Commodore. Wait, did she phone someone? You had nothing yep. in her hands. Uh, it's an earpiece. Oh. You collapsed from your exertion. Are you suitably recovered? No. Severin here has apprised me of all that transpired. His accounts shed some light upon how you came to be attacked by a golem of all things. A golem is a mindless automaton, inert save when commanded to be otherwise. Common pirates could not hope to control such a thing. Uh, so arcane it is it workings. But then these tattooed wretches are no common pirates. They are the minions of the Sahagin. As to their purpose, well, I shall get to the bottom of it. Wait, I'm also tattooed. Am I also one of them? Yes. No, you are not. <laughs> but first I must escort Severin back to his place of employment. I dare say Stelwin will be wondering what has become of him. And you too, for that matter. I will bear word of him for your, pre uh, for your preservation, but I am certain he would like to thank you in person. Pray pay the man a visit. Ah, he told me of you, but perchance he did not tell you of me. My name is Ishtola. I am a naturalist of sorts, surveying the ether in the hope that it might offer up some clues as to our predicament. I'd say I owe you my life, but that don't cover it. If it weren't for you, my friends would be dead and all. This debt I can never repay, but I'll make things worse by running away. Take me not. to some of what farms and I'll face the consequences. Yep. I will not make things worse by running away. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You changed the meaning completely. Yeah, I know, I know. <laughs> For reasons I cannot fathom, you seem. Forgive me. Mayhap we shall have a chance to speak again when I have marshaled my thoughts. Until our paths next cross. Farewell. So in the 
the later things they have everything voice acted or no? almost everything okay that's cool there are a lot of voice acting later so oh it's, it's a cutscene minutes and i'm having the five hours full no <laughs> so i just read lol instead of low <laughs> Mm -hmm. uh, I knew you'd return. Ishtola delivered Severin a bit ago. Tales of your heroic deeds precede you. The rest came shuffling back to the lot of them sporting the same haunted expression. It's me who's to blame for that, that's and the rest. I once uh, I was once a serpent reaver. A thrall to the Sargin, seven hells. Reavers may look and sound and act like pirates, but they're not but the fishback flunkies. Us pirates ain't much for laws, but there's things we won't do. We've got a code, see? But the Reavers never followed a word of it. A few years back, they started snatching law-abiding Lominsons. I'd only just taken my oath when our captain bent the knee to his new Sargin masters. I knew I had to get away. So I crept off one night, got myself a new name, and found myself a new home, Summerford Farms. Trouble is, secrets don't stay si don't stay secret for long round here, and word soon spread all the way back to the sea. The penalty for the desertion is death, but the Reavers offered me a way out of instead, my freedom in exchange for my mates. The latter. I do know what I was thinking. I wasn't bloody thinking, too busy soiling myself. Aye, but you got there in the end, didn't you? When the time came, you made the right decision. The men say little to me, but I hear him talk of how you stood up to the Reavers at the last, of how you tried to give your life to save theirs. But that is a maid, no deed, however good, can atone for the crime of betraying your brethren. True. I know that, I do. That's why I'm going to hand myself over to the Yellow Jackets. I'll bring shame to the farm no more. You'll hear no arguments from me. Each man must sail according to his own moral compass. I just hope yours guides uh, yours guides you back here someday there will always be a place for you at summer forms farm summer fort farm lads uh, and i'll always be in your debt still will so i'll talk to him again i owe you a debt too not once have you let me down thank you for saving the man of my farm if i could ask one more favor of you It'd be this. Tell Badaron what's happened from start to finish. I'm certain he'd put in a good word for Severin if he knew the whole story. And he's one of the few people I know who the Yellow Jackets listen to. Well, I reckon I'd ask all I can possibly ask of you. Safe travels. Oh no, it's Badaron again. I forgot. No, oh, have fun. No. Bloody else. Life on the farm ain't quite how I pictured it. Ah, but you needn't worry yourself over young Severin. The yellow jacket as ends out the punishment is a good mate of mine. If I ask him nice, I reckon it'd be willing to commute the lad sentence from angling to gnawling. Kindly gent is he's. Ah, I'm only jesting with you. I'll see you it's treated fair. Now it sounds me to like you've done everything old Severin asked you and more justifying me generous finders fee in the process. Much obliged lad. As for the ward, well, she's a, lon uh, she's a lonely lad, this drowning wench of mine. Or do you fancy keeping her company for a spell, with a free room on board? Venturing's a trying business after all. Uh, them as don't rest their bones every now and again tend to end up with broken ones. And take it from me, fighting ain't nearly so much fun when you're nursing a shattered arm. Got that? Good. There'll always be a free bed for you, so make use of it. Yeah! Not that I'll have much time for lying around with what all the leaves you'll be doing. Oh, didn't I mention? I'm putting your name down for the leaves. Our guild draws all manners of clients, offering all manner of odd jobs. Honestly, you'd be amazed how much folk you'd pay to avoid doing an honest day's labor. Just give Tmokri a shout whenever you feel like making a few extra gil. She'll always have some task for you to do. Stop with your cat in the background. <laughs> no. Yeah. It's all above aboard, cause you're wondering. We're careful to stay on the Admiral's right side in here. Unlike some pirates I could mention. I tell you, if it turns out they ought to do with them kidnappings, there'll be seven else to pay, a proper bleed in reckoning. 
Mayhap that's what Limsa needs though. On rough seas sometimes you have to rock the boat to ride it. But we'll have time for such talk when we'll have rested. Till then, enjoy the wench's hospitality. Yay! Money! Uh, I've now re access to recommendations. Ah, oh, yeah, yeah. Perfect. Okay, direct. No. Again. How do you fare? Rested and ready to expand your horizons. Well then, I've an idea of where you might trade next. I've heard of the Skylift out in Middle Lanoscare. If you visited Wode Whisper Canyon, then you must find up. Uh, then must pin up and down the thing at least once. It's a bl big bleeding scaffolding attached to the descent. You've likely seen the lads and lasses out there using it to all cargo up the cliff face. Art labor that, and I hear, they could use an enterprising soul to pick up the odd jobs with no other bugger as time to deal with. Track down the ad of the operation, bloke by the name of Virkirth, and I'll be sure to put your work on a task or two. Ah, oh, that was a lot. Baderon sent you out here, did he? Then consider yourself welcome at the Skylift. Look at that bloody cliff, will ya? One blast of fiery hell from that huge dragon was all it took to split the ground in half. Cargo steel needs to get through, though, so this mess of wooden pulleys was our solution to the problem. Well, one of them at least, if the gods were kind, and they ain't. I'd have about a dozen more workers to handle me growing list of headaches. Nice. Let's go. So, quickly equip stuff. Nice. So, glad I'm here to see shit. you again. Yeah, a wagon driver just returned in a great bloody hurry, screaming about some monstrosity what sprang out from a million core seedling in his cargo. Seems the gutless bastard tossed it over the side before turning tail and running for his life. I need you to head down the road, recover that seedling, and deliver it to leave over its rift perch in Western Lanoskea. Whatever he pays you for the cargo is yours to keep. After all, I don't rightly know what else is lurking inside the plant, and you deserve to be rewarded for your troubles. Oh, well, Etherite and Swift Perch. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So. So. Um. Has Nemea herself forsaken this desolate land? Though I understood there were risk in gambling my entire fortune on crop of milling corn, I at least expect the seedling to be delivered before disaster struck. Look what we have. Ooh, Is that my milling corn seedling? Oh, joyous day, it may seem a paltry beginning, but the yield of this particular variety of crop plant is nothing short of astonishing. As you've undoubtedly noticed, Swift Perch lacks a certain, shall we say, vital energy. Thus I mean to restore a modicum of hope to its residents by growing a veritable ocean of corn. You, sir, seem fit to burst with vim and vigor. Might I persuade you to abide a while and help nurture this ailing settlement? Uh, of course. Wait, do we accept this quest from them? No. No, no. Uh, we have to go to Freldelf. You there, uh, adventurer! Yeah. Cast your eyes towards the Brewer's Beacon. Does the light not seem uncommonly weak? It cannot possibly be bright enough to guide the ships sailing in the bay. I would march over to the lighthouse and investigate myself, but I am duty-bound to remain at my post. I would consider it a favor if you could make a visit to Brewer's Beacon and see uh, the lighthouse keepers. Yeah. So, uh, you say Yellow Jacket sent you here. Me lights growing dim has it. Well, of course it bloody has. The bomb board fuels my furnace has up and buggered off, you see. If I don't get that beacon fixed up soon, there'll be trouble on the water. I know you're just a messenger lad, but I can't tell the adventurer when I see one. I'm going to need you to chase down that bomb and bring back a claw that you ripped from its smoldering corpse. Take a seer iron brazer and set her down in the middle of the flock, somewhere near the scarecrow, I'd say. You get a nice fire going, the frisky bomb shall soon be about, which you don't singe your eyebrows. Yeah. Uh, all you need to do is take down the runway bomb and bring me off its little claws. Oh yeah, we already have that. 
You got the ashy bastard, did ya? Once I put this little firecracker in the furnace, that should keep this running for a while. I had myself a bit of a look while you was gone. And Limnian curse if the furnace went all bent and broken. Small wonder the bloody bomb was able to escape. I patched things up as best that I could, but I ain't no smithy. You might want to have a chat with the yellow jacket friend of yours on Swift Perch and have him pass the word back to someone in Limsa. There is the freeloader. Uh, free meatloaf. No. <laughs> The furnace is damaged, is it? Very well, I shall write up the re relevant reports, but these repairs must need to be effected without delay. It seems I have another favor to ask of you, adventurer. Take yourself straight away to the armorer's guild in Limsa and explain this situation to the forge master, Hanaza. 